You're welcome back. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now it's time for Sagu's favorite part of the show. It could be my favorite part of the show too. Well, it's because definitely the viewer's favorite part of the show too. Exactly, because, because, because we get, get to, to interact with you. Definitely, so, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, that is me just saying, you know. <laughs> of course. But thank you so much for staying with us up until this time. Now it's time for us to delve into Daybreak Interactive where you will be part of the show Tell us what you feel about what we will be bringing out today. Of course, it's all about, we just talked about food insecurity, but right now we will be talking about food subsidy removal and the controversy. What is your take? And uh, recently they've been talked about, you know, this subsidy is paid, uh, you know, at the back door. But <laughs> let's not get into that. Federal government is subsidy era is gone for good. And uh, a leaked draft report accelerated stabilization and advancement uh, plan that is the ASAP and it showed the 5.4 trillion naira uh, trillion estimated uh, trillion naira ex estimated expenditure on fuel subsidy for 2024 but the presidency this you know is saying that no something like that is not happening it didn't happen they are disclaiming that document and calling it a policy proposal still subject to review. So the presidency urges the public and media to disregard the document and cease further discussions as it is not an approved official document you know, yet. The government can say, you know, uh, cease further discussions, but... When it gets to the court of public opinions, you can you can really <laughs> not fathom what Nigerians are going to be saying about you know, saying this development. Already. Definitely, and a lot of what you're saying is what we want to hear on the program mm -hmm. this morning. It's 5.4 trillion. It's um, almost some would say 60, 65 percent above what was paid. Uh, in 2023, I think 2023 was between 3.4 to 3.6 uh, trillion for the fuel subsidy. But here we are. One year later, the statement subsidy is gone. We're now 5.6 trillion naira deep hmm. into payment into it. of the subsidy. 4. Allegedly, because the government still calls <laughs> but, it yes. a proposal. So what do you think of this proposal? Do you think um, there's any uh, truth to the fact that because a lot of the newspaper organizations uh, the tv organizations and all of the media organizations out there you know had a screaming headline federal government finally admits to paying, to paying subsidy. subsidy so what do you make of this admittance please call the numbers on your screen and of course definitely send us those whatsapp messages for us to you know hear your thoughts your comments your questions and your concerns on this development of course this wasn't the first time that um, the government had you know openly re removed fuel subsidy yeah. and then only for us to come back and we hear that uh, the fuel subsidy is gone but subsidy one way or the other was still being paid was it through the back door well maybe it was not through the back door maybe it was through the window or maybe it was an underhand payment but however it is facts remain that the presidency or the federal government may have been paying fuel subsidy and may need to pay up to 5.4 trillion. That money could be used for a lot of other, exactly. you know, capital-intensive projects that would make real meaning in the lives of Nigerians, especially at a time, you know, when uh, Nigerians and the organized labor have been clamoring for an improved uh, and revised minimum wage, wage. for Nigerian workers. And so, also talking about infrastructure as well. Things just have to work. Indeed. So how, how, does, how did this uh, headline meet you in the first <laughs> place? And... What do you think the government should do, you know, to address this issue more holistically? I mean, they called it the Accelerated Stabilization and Advancement Plan, ASAP. I'll just call it ASAP. Uh, they said this plan <laughs> is supposed to stimulate growth in areas of the economy where, you know, they've ex experienced a little bit of stagnance. So what do you make of this? Please give us a call. Let's hear your thoughts. Let's hear your comments. Let's hear your contributions on these developments. And, you know, some would say that, that despite the fact that, you know, the government may or may not have been paying subsidy, Nigerians still suffered some form of fuel scarcity one way or the other. Fuel now, the question scarcity. is not whether uh, the, 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 the fuel price was increased or reduced, but availability remains a challenge to Nigerians. Exactly. And with that, we have... A caller now. Good morning and welcome to Daybreak. What's your Thank name and where are you calling from? My name is Ma. 
Moaz was calling from where? From Medikuri. I couldn't quite make out what you said, yeah, Moazu, but please go ahead. From Medikuri. Oh, Moazu oh, from Medikuri. Please proceed. How's Medikuri this morning? Well, as usual, it's not all that cold. It's uh, a little bit warm. The letter heat is usual. We are used to it. Great. So what do you make of the presidency's or the government's statement regarding fuel subsidy? 5.4 trillion. Uh, you see, to say the truth, the colonia is talking about the problem generally it has to do with theory, more theory than practical. How so? Very good. You see, uh, as long as this of uh, one money to stay dialogue and get down to the ladder. Honestly speaking, it's very difficult to implement anything tangible. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. The network is not really clear, uh, but um, we're trying to make something out of what you're saying right now. If you could be audible enough. Oh, we I lost the call, but there's this a call back, notion or perception about when it rains in a particular place. There's and either the a network, network. <laughs> issue and all of mm. that. Maybe that's what is uh, played out. You might just want to move away from where you are and give us a call again. Please give us a Hopefully call back. Hopefully we'll get to make something out of your definitely, contribution definitely. this morning. I, I really wish that I, I could make out some of what he said because mm -hmm. he mentioned that it's more theory than practical. But then we have another caller. Good morning. Welcome to the program. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good morning. Good morning to yes, you. Morning. Welcome. My name is Khalifa Omar. You're calling from where, Khalifa? I'm calling from Kobe. All right, please proceed, Khalifa. Where in Kogi are you calling I'm from? Calling from Kogi. Where in Kogi are you calling from? Ida. Oh, interesting. That's the first. All right, Ida, Khalifa Ida. from Ida Kogi State. What's what's your contribution? Okay, Khalifa, unfortunately, would have to let you go. Yeah. Uh, I didn't mention the quick ground rules. Please, <laughs> when you call into the program, uh, stay a bit away from your TV so it doesn't interfere with the conversation. It, it really interferes with uh, the studio and the quality of conversation we have if we can hear ourselves you know, in the background. So please turn down the volume of your TV set. Uh, keep your contributions short and precise. Good morning. Welcome to Daybreak. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Good morning. I hope it's not the network acting up again. Well, We're trying. Hello, good morning. All good right. Morning. Good morning to you. you good go. to ha know that you're still there. Hello. Good morning to you. We can hear you loud and clear. Thank you very much. My name is Bukola from Paduna, Kaduna State. Oh, nice. Good to have you join us on the program this morning. What's your contribution, please? Uh, thank you very much. My contribution on this first subsidy of the team is I want to believe that the government are not sincere to the Nigerians. Why would you say that, Mr. Bukola? I can remember vividly when uh, the Ex-president, Dr. Willard Jonathan, decided to remove subsidy from our fuel. But remember, the fuel was 89 naira then, and he said, if you take our fuel to 140 naira, there will be no more subsidy. There was various advertisements on the radio and television then, what they would do with the uh, money. But Nigerians went against it. The lot of people, the lot of allies in Nigeria, carry play card, all this, that, uh, Jonathan is this, Jonathan is that. And it was called Occupy of... Nigeria, Mr. Bukola. Yes, okay, thank you very much. But uh, uh, we discovered that when the, 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 the past uh, administration came into power, mm. they actually went on 145, but without fear. And they told Nigeria that the subsidy had been removed. 
look at the give to hear again that this subsidy is still there. Mm. Now, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu came in, and the very first broadcast was that the subsidy is gone. Mm. And we are buying for before that time 250 like that, and we went straight to 550 naira, mm. thinking no more subsidy. Now, where did they get the like of 700, 800 again? So, I want to believe this subsidy of 18 is not really clear to us. It's not really clear. If they are going to be to be to, to be truthful to our chefs, that who is collecting the subsidy, who is paying the subsidy, or what purpose are they paying it? Mm. So if the donor want to be truthful to the ticket delivery, let them really come out and tell us what is really happening. Okay, Mr. Mr. Bukola. I, I, Mr. Bukola, mm -hmm. I, I think if I got your point clearly, your worry is the federal government keeps removing the fuel subsidy with the expectation that yeah. the price increase will lead to some sort of savings for Nigeria. But then again, the federal government removes the fuel subsidy, the price of petrol increases, and then it follows the back door to pay more subsidy while Nigerians pay more for petrol. I think it's a book I'm talking about. Yeah. So okay. You see, you see, you see, that is what I'm saying. Mm. Now, listen to me, please. You see, when you say you remove subsidy on something, people will face the hardship. For how long the are going to be facing this hardship mm. over and over and over again? Mm. Yes, we keep saying the subsidy will be removed. The hardship will seems to change. Mm. Can you get it now? Indeed. So when you remove subsidy and say you will be paying, you are paying it. And yet you come tomorrow and say this subsidy means that to be removed again. What are we removing? Indeed. People are dying of hunger. Okay. And yet federal government will come out and uh, so people will come out and say this is what federal government are saying. Okay. Well, personally, I didn't hear it from the federal government that this is what uh, uh, this figure is. People are saying it. But if truly, they are talking about subsidy. We don't supposed to be discussing subsidy by now, honestly speaking. We don't supposed to be discussing subsidy by now, yeah. considering what Nigerians are passing through. Indeed. Thank you so much. Thank, right. you Thank you so you much so for your much. contributions, Mr. Bukola, calling all the way from Kaduna State there. Maria, there you have it. Yes. He, uh, he raised quite a concern, a concern that... That is shared think, by many, actually. Yes. I mean, kudos to Mr. Bukola for the timeline there, mm. chronicling... Uh, the fuel subsidy removal from the good luck jonathan administration the implications yeah. you know running through the shopee the subsidy rain uh, reinvestment program you know going through that to the buhari administration what transpired up until you know the tunubu administration now as it is the removal of the fuel subsidy the expected skyrocketing mm -hmm. on the price of petroleum products and then the you know do i call it the shocker to nigerians hearing that the government still pays subsidy despite uh the price of petrol. We have another caller on the program now. Good morning. Welcome to Daybreak Interactive. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Adi. I'm calling from London. All right. Oh, Mr. Adi, good morning. Good Great morning to have you on the you. program once again, all the way from London. How's London this morning? Thank you very much. Good morning, school. Uh, we're all feeling home. Uh, home is better. I'm but just going to ask how the king. Indeed. indeed. Ask the king. Well, well they, there's no, no place like I, home anyway. The, the king is very well low. We are still in our currency now. We have impacted uh, the new king uh, picture in our neighbors now. All right, Mr. So Adi. Let's, 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 let's hear your contribution. Uh, regarding the first subsidy, I'm in support of removing the subsidy because it's not benefiting the poor. But, Mr. Adi, the, the challenge, the challenge here is, Mr. Adi, the fuel subsidy has been removed, but the federal government is here saying, admitting that um, it might need 5.4 trillion naira to pay subsidy. And the questions Nigeria is asking is, how do you pay subsidy when the Petroleum Industry Act no longer provides for subsidy payment? Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's corruption. So, it's not everything that good not the president will know. It's what they're telling. Look at it. It's their appointment. So, it's not everything. So, it's corruption, my brother. It's corruption. Mm -hmm. I support the removal of subsidy. So, they say 5 point something trillion. I don't believe your position on the article anyway, because it will give a way to, to the, the single government. So, I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. If somebody neutral, 
that is being implemented as uh, somebody who is not in any party, the civil people, aha, then I will believe that. But I don't believe that. Okay, so, so Mr. Ayesha, so do you think, do you think that... Bring the evidence. Do you think that the government is still paying subsidy as, you know, perceived by a lot of Nigerians? Through the back door, anyway. I don't... I, I cannot rule it out because it might be doing a balancing. Because the price of uh, shipping the oil to Nigeria, the difference is they might be paying it, but they won't call it subsidy. So they might call it a uh, difference. They are price. the difference. They are going to inflate the price again. Mm. I think that's what they are doing. Okay. Mm. They don't see corruption. You understand? They must fight corruption. That's our problem. That's what is disturbing us. Something does not pay common man. How many for are how many cars do they have? Indeed. But if you look at the rich people, they have hundreds of cars. It's, they are very rich. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank Adi, you, for your Mr. contributions. Adi. And thank have you so much for day. definitely for always uh, reaching out on the program to share your contributions all the way from London, the United Kingdom. I think Mr. Ade is one dedicated, patriotic Nigerian. Yes, and a big fan of Trust Television. And a big fan we appreciate of Trust that. Well, there you have it. Uh, keep the comments, keep the concerns, and keep the contributions coming in. We're talking about uh, the allegation of the federal government paying subsidies despite the removal of the fuel subsidy. And we have another caller. Good morning. Welcome to Daybreak Interactive. What's your name and where are you calling from? If you're close to your TV, it's uh, best that you move away or we'll just have to let you go. I'm sorry. Uh, please, we'll just have to let you go. Please turn down the volume of your TV set or the device you're using to watch us at the moment and then call us so we can have a smooth conversation. If the line is fuzzy, I'm sorry we cannot have a conversation with you. All right? Ground rules, ground rules. Please give us a call back, and when you do, turn down the volume of your TV set or walk away from the area where your TV set is located. So it that doesn't noise is interfere. very unpleasant. Not just to us in the studio, but people watching the program. So you wouldn't want that. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the program. What's your name? My name is Umar. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Ida, in place of Khalifa. Oh, all right. Thank you very much and welcome to the show all the way from Ida Kogi State. He's a proud man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, he is. Please go ahead with your contribution. Well, uh, in the first place, subsidy removal is a big mistake for the federal government part. Why do you say that? If you say so, I will ask you back. What is the offense of Nigerians for them to remove uh, subsidy? They should have looked at the good things. What is the reason for them to bring subsidy in the first place? To help the masses. Now, what is our offense? You don't want to help us again? I don't know. Mm. Come on, can I? Now, we are saying that they are paying, yeah, are saying, uh, are paying uh, at the back. Of course, they cannot stand without pay. Because if they don't pay, we all suffice. Let me tell you one thing. Just three days ago, I, I, I bought a, a pain bucket of beans at the rate of 4,500. Okay. Yesterday, they went to buy that same uh, pain bucket of beans. It's 6,000. I have a farm. I uh, wanted to plant pigeon pea, a good breed. They put on 7,500 for a pain bucket. Hmm. Today, they called me that this pain bucket is 10,000 naira. You see how things are skyrocketing. We are saying insecurity, security. The insecurity of the stomach is more than that of Boko Haram. It's more than that of health. Because if you don't eat, the medicine will not work. If you don't eat, you don't go to school. If you don't eat, you can't come to the television and talk to us. You understand? So removing subsidy is a big mistake, a failure on the federal government part. Hmm. Thank you, you so say, much, Mr. Umar. One of them should call back now and if, tell us what is our face. If I may, Mr. Umar, can I, can I ask you a question, Mr. Umar? Please, please ask me. Okay, so Mr. Umar, um, I'm just going to take a cue from what a caller earlier mentioned, and that was his concern with regard to the subsidy. Now, he said um, in time past, the federal government had hinted that it would remove the subsidy. In good luck's era, it was removed. Uh, the fuel price went up to 140 naira or thereabouts. Uh, but unfortunately, the government was still paying subsidy. Now, here we are, the subsidy removed. The price of petrol has increased. 
but the government unfortunately allegedly still pays subsidy aren't you worried that uh, the subsidy removal or the subsidy stain would only lead to this loss of revenue that nigeria continue you know to witness despite mm. its removal or implementation I, 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 guess, I guess that's the challenge we continue to face as a nation. Yeah. Yes, um, like I told you before, a subsidy removal is a failure. Hmm. They shouldn't remove it. All right then. Just Thank like now, you said you have to standing uh, by his you, words. You, you stand firmly <laughs> by, 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 let, by let, your let, contribution. Let, let, me give you a, let me give you an instance. You have a house, eh? and you have a gate man. Hmm. You say this gate man is not working. For the, for the reason of that, let me remove the whole gate. What have you done? You just like you bath the baby and throw the baby and the water away. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, what the government the problem of subsidy should have been tackled. What is the problem of subsidy? You understand? Bringing in vessels which were in fake. Eh? We have inter interposed. Let you check which uh, which vessel has come, which vessel have left our abroad, which one is coming, which one is not coming. Which okay, one or not? Mr. Omar, thank you very much. And let's uh, give time to other callers who are waiting on the line. But we appreciate your contribution. I want to say thank you. Have a wonderful day. We hope that things get better from here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Omar. Mr. Omar called us from Ida yeah. in Kogi State. A proud Ida man, <laughs> I, must, I must add, because he said so with so much confidence. Thank you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think Merdia and I would discuss that uh, later after the show but, but then again please keep those contributions coming in and then we have another one good morning welcome to daybreak interactive what's your name and where are you Hello, calling good from morning. good morning to you good morning. welcome good morning thank you my name is sunday i'm calling from kogi state of kenya Prisari. oh nice so we didn't get your name again please sunday. tell us your name again. sunday sunday oh mr sunday. sunday all the way from okene kogi state kogi people are watching Daybreak this morning. Please proceed with your contribution. Yes, we are already watching almost every day. We are watching uh, Daybreak. And we, we appreciate, appreciate you for you. that. Thank you. Thank you guys for always keeping in touch with us and letting us to share our view. And thank you for staying with us as well. So I really appreciate, I appreciate for you people and to add that the only thing we need in government is fairness. In terms of fairness, you started, you did not start today, but the leader, I think, if you, before you come to power, you learn from the past mistake, what the other people did, person did that did not do right. You can't just, if you did not do it right, if you come and continue at the same way the other person did, you will not expect to get it right. So this government, they have not been true, true for us. Okay, let's say for the first week, I be a moon that they enter office. They tell Nigeria this is how much they realize in the moon. And we are all happy and hoping. Since then, we have not heard any other thing from them. They say there's going to be CNG balls and so many things. Hmm. If there was we have been CNG balls and all this alternative, at least, even if you know reach everybody, like all these uh, local places, Abuja in particular or from city, at least or workers. They will not be feeling this hardship as the way they are feeling it. From Girina to Area 1 now, they will tell you 1,000 to if you are not going, you leave it and that person is going. Mm -hmm. But if they see CNG board, they can even carry you 500 naira. Mm. Indeed. So what we want for the government, they should be telling us through. Uh, mm -hmm. The LO5 have said it, they are their still pain. I think we were saying it, they are still pain. So there is element of truth on it. We just want that to be plain and letting us know what is happening. Thank Nigeria you. are very patient people. Mm. Thank you so much. Your order, my brother. Thank yeah, you so much, Mr. Sunday, much. for that apt contribution there and also to the point. Yeah. Fairness, fairness, fairness. Nigerian government needs to be fair to its people. Uh, well, uh, Mardia, what do you think? Uh, it, it's so much. And, um, you know, all of the points that we have taken this morning from our callers, Truly, they are valid, and it all boils down to, you know, cost of living. The first subsidy removal is costing a lot of hardship on Nigerians, undue hardship on Nigerians, and Nigerians are asking, for how long? I think if there should be subsidy removal, there should be a time frame 
given to Nigerians. I think when from now to yes, yeah. When does this all end? You know, that's the big question now that the government needs to answer. But let's take this call. Hello, good morning, and welcome to the show. What's your name and where are you calling from? Unfortunately, we have to we'll let you let go you because go. of the interference exactly. between your TV set and the conversation. Unfortunately, if you're not able to turn down the volume of your TV set, or at least step away from the TV set, we'll not be able to have a conversation. It makes it difficult for us to hear each other, and mm -hmm. it also delays other callers who want to call in with their own contribution. So please give us a call back, but this time with your TV set down and we can Hello, have a good morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome Hello. to the show. What's your name? Uh, my name is John Simon. Good morning, Mr. John. Where are you calling us from? My name is John Simon. Where are you John, calling from? You would have to turn down the volume of your TV set or we might have to let you go. Please turn down the volume of your TV set as it interferes with the conversation. Okay, we'll just have to let you go. I'm sorry. We literally can hear ourselves. So we can have a conversation with that. I'm so sorry. Viewers, please endeavor to turn down the volume of your TV set. We cannot, we cannot emphasize this enough. We cannot have a conversation, a smooth conversation, if your TV set is on. I understand the need to hear yourself talk yeah. on TV, uh, but you can also do that by joining our YouTube page that is always live. So you can rewind back and watch yourself comment on the That's program. That's the beauty of, you know, joining us on YouTube. But and I also definitely, understand definitely. that you need to stay in front of your TV to know that your call has been picked. So we have people who control these calls. You probably have to get to them and then they'll connect you to the studio. So just move away. Immediately you hear your, somebody's voice at the other end, you just know that you're connected to us. You don't need to be in front of your TV to know that you have reached us in the studio, all right? absolutely do not. But please keep those calls coming. Uh, we want to keep hearing those contributions, those comments. What do you think, what do you make of uh, the allegation of 5.4 trillion Naira subsidy payment? Please tell us. Good morning. Welcome to the program. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good morning. My name is Jibril calling from Abuja. Mr. Jibril from Abuja, please go ahead with your contribution. On the subsidy rule and uh, no subsidy. I think we're just playing pranks with Nigerians. Playing pranks? Pranks. pranks. That, that's a big one. During the military, we're paying subsidies. And everybody has the impact of subsidy. Now we know how much we're buying for. Just within the period of democracy, the past five years, this subsidy is over. We pay no subsidy. It's just a prank. I think the government just needs to be frank. There is no subsidy anywhere. They are just paying themselves this money. Those who are the owners of those companies benefiting from subsidy. Mm. Can we ever publish them? Where are they? Mm. What is the quantity of power they are importing? Can you verify them? Mm. Nobody. Only if you cannot give an account. You know, the Minister of Finance must be made by taking payments. So we should just stop disturbing our fellow human beings. We are all Nigerians, we are all stakeholders. We ought to enjoy the dividends and benefits of whatever resources that we have in this country. Thank you so much. Thank you. So it be respected to some few. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you all so right. much. Thank you very much. We are all stakeholders. We should enjoy the dividends of the government. Well, that's that's definitely definitely true and the questions of whether nigerians the teeming population of nigerians are enjoying the true dividends, dividends. of democracy, democracy is a question that begs answers june 12 less than a week away from today is going to be democracy day or at least the new democracy day mm -hmm. uh, it used to be may 29 but then it was changed to june 12 because of the significance of that date uh, the question of whether nigerians in the last 25 years have enjoyed true dividends of democracy is begging for answers have a trust tv will be bringing you a live programming on that day mm -hmm. and we definitely definitely will be opening the phone lines for you to call in share your comments your thoughts and your concerns about nigeria's growing democracy and the progress we've made over the last 25 years. So, so you're saying that you should brace up because we'll be having a very, very short conversation concerning our democracy 
in the last 25 years. Definitely. And that wraps up Daybreak Interactive this morning. As much as I hate to end this segment, unfortunately, the director Your says we're out of segment time. Of My the favorite, show. favorite segment. Thanks to all the callers who called in to share the comments and perspectives. And to those callers we unfortunately had to let go, please call again next week. Yes. But this time with the volume of your TV set reduced, or at least with you away from the TV set. But so we you thank you for the effort. On the program, definitely we thank you for the effort. And for those who tried calling but couldn't reach us, please do so again. But until next week, we'll see you again on Daybreak Interactive and the program continues after this break. Stay with us.